So we've got a Unity versus Chock D showdown again. We have, we have indeed. Sean Rafferty again, I've been there at a lot of his fights, yeah. as well as Paul Dennis Jones, who did suffer a scary knockout the last time I saw him, but it was ruled um, as an illegal punch. Uh, but unfortunately, he was out cold. Let's see how he does in this one. Well, let's hope we get a good fight. Good, clean fight. We don't want anything like that this time. Absolutely not. Good to see Paul back in the ring as well. Good fight. Just saying there before, he went, as you came out in the ring, the Chorn started off, did the white collar stuff, worked his way up, worked his way up, stuck at it, and now look where he's at. He's now here in a title fight. It's a fantastic story. It is. Great guy, Sean. Another one of... I, I am a little bit biased, Julian. This, these are my guys. I'm these a Durham guy. Boys. These are my boys. This is my team. Um, but I, I'm remaining neutral as we commentate on this. Um, you know. And if there was anybody coming else over from Manchester, then you'd, you'd definitely see that the neutrality would disappear. <laughs> Here we go, round one. Let's go. So Sean in the white shorts, orange trim. Paul, the black chalk D with a gold trim. Sean, of course, with that reach advantage. Yeah, slightly taller. A little bit heavier build, Sean there. Just taking his time, taking his time, letting, not letting anything go too soon. Just watching his opponent catches him with a good right there, just off the top of the head. Both of these boys are very experienced. They're not going to go in there and just throw leather for the hell of it. No, I expect to see some good tactical, technical boxing. You will absolutely see that with these two. Both of these guys, I know them personally. Both fantastic, fantastic people. And again, both from some uh, two of the best gyms, Unity and Chop D, of absolutely. course. Absolutely, absolutely. Paul, there, uh, good movement just to get away from Sean's attack. Yeah, Throws like out a couple of jabs in that, that side to side, that, that sort of lateral movement there. Yep. Intelligent boxing, nothing wasted. Good movement there by Sean. Yeah. And good movement by Paul as well. Good, good head movement. You see there, you look at Sean's eyes. You see what he's doing. He's just he's focused in there. He's watching. He's not. He's not looking at Paul's hands. For those that are, that are aware with the box, if you watch the boxer's hands, you'll get caught. Yep. You look at their eyes, you look, you're, you're almost looking through them. Yep. And you're lovely, looking, oh, lovely. And he's oh, got again there. Great shots from Three Sean. Three great shots. The left hand started it off, big left hook there. And it was a big one as well. And that's what he's done there, that's what John wasn't doing in the last fight. First shot, first shot did the damage. He followed it in with that next two, another right and a left combination. Big power there, big power. Paul, I think Paul's okay. I think he's, you know, he's got the knockdown, but he's not looking too bad. He looks okay there. Yeah, yeah. I think Rich more of a stunning shot. Yeah. Than anything. See yeah. Rich there telling him why he got caught, and I think that's important when you get back to the corner to know why you got caught with the shot. Try and make some amends in the next round. But a fantastic start by both of them, especially Sean. Yeah. He scored the knockdown. Three yeah. big shots took him down. Yeah. Ten-eight round there for Sean. Absolutely. But again, that, that lateral movement that Paul was using, the, the thing is when you're circling like that, if you're moving side to side, if your opponent can start to get it, and understand that, the, the, the hook is a brilliant shot for it that. Is, it is indeed. Leaves your opponent open. Here we go, just almost ready for round two. Seem to clean the ring a little bit. There we go, a little water on there, but it's been taken care of. And our boxes are ready to go. And this is round two. Unity versus Chuck D. Sean versus Paul. And this is the title fight for everyone who's watching. Four Nations light heavyweight title fight. Another belt on the line.
think Chop D have already taken one of these titles. Got a bit of an uphill battle, I believe, with this one because of the knockdown. Yeah, Good yeah, job. we saw it was uh, early on. Wayne Brown, he won the, um, uh, the I think it was the lightweight title that he won. Um, but yeah, great performance. Um, and again, two fabulous gyms, two great places. If, if, <laughs> if you're in the York area and the Durham area, you want to go and learn how to do this, you will not go wrong going into either of them places. This is true. These are two of the best gyms that you could expect or want to uh, be involved with. Of course, Unity and Chop D. 60 seconds left in the round. Yeah, good, good work from Sean again. He's, he's very measured, very composed. He looks very, very calm in there. Good uppercut, left hook, body and shots. He's picking his shots really well. He's got Paul in a bit of trouble now. Yeah, Paul needs to get out of there. Got to get out. That is the last place he wants to be. Have a bit of work there from Sean. Just lean in. Sean just measuring him there, just having a look at him. Looking to see how he can be exploited. He's got him in the corner again. But Paul very, um, very um, cleverly comes out of that corner. Yeah, good movement there from Paul. Good movement, working off that back foot. Sean just tagged him a little bit there. Again, that left that sort of hook cross shot there. Got to give that one to Sean as well. It's going to take a lot, I think, for Paul to pull this one out of the bag. It will do, absolutely. But he's still in it. He's still in it. He's still there. He still looks good, but I think um, he's going to have to uh, hit Lotto in the third round. He's going to have yeah. to look for a way of ending this fight. Uh, Sean's looking calm. See there, he's not even breathing too heavy. He's been very measured, very calculated. Absolutely. If he's going to expend his energy, he's going to expend it by hitting some scoring shots. And this is the thing I like about Sean, he doesn't waste punches, he's not known to be a person that will go out there and swing. He'll use his boxing experience and his skill, everything that's been taught to him by, of course, Paul Hubber. And he goes out there and um, doesn't waste anything and does the business. Paul, again, another measured fighter, trained again by um, Rich and Joe Cadden from Chop D. Fantastic fighter in his own right, it's just an uphill battle for him at the moment. But who knows, third round is coming up, anything can happen. Yeah, Paul needs a big round in this, in this last round. Now. I think he needs to hit jackpot now. And I think he knows it. Oh, oh and he's just been caught by a beautiful right shot. It looks like Sean wants to end this one. Yeah, he doesn't want it to go to points. Compact shots there. They're doing some damage. Oh. That's coming back. Couple of jabs popped out. Paul's a little bit tentative at the moment. Been caught by some big shots in this fight, and he's just leaned on him, put all his weight on him. We don't want that. Paul time there. And we resume. Paul looking for the uppercut there. Sean oh, catches nice. him with a left hook. Nice left hook there. And a right hand to follow after missing again, the former one again. and he's down again. Is that a push? That was a, yeah, that was a push. I think, Sean, I think Sean's trying to get the space and he's trying, to, he's trying to push him away to create the space to unload the shots. Yep. The referee having a word with him, Trevor Pye having a word there about the pushing. Yeah, I like Sean's defence there as well. Straight in, hands up, thumbs on the cheeks there. Oh, oh and that's a big right hand. hand, and that is a knockdown. That was a knockdown. That wasn't a slip. Lovely little choppy right hand Great on shot. the temple. Great shot. There's a lot of time left in the round, around 30 seconds left. 
Trevor's having a good look at him and he's going to let him continue. Yeah. Sean looking like he's oh. going to finish his two big shots. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. In. That's it. We are done. Sean Rafferty. Wow. Fighting out of unity, Jim in Durham. He takes it. He takes the Four Nations title. He's taking the belt. Great work. He will be your new light heavyweight title holder. Great contest, absolutely fabulous contest, really enjoyed that one. Uh, got to say, deserved win for Sean. Looked more composed, took his shots, picked them. Didn't waste any energy, great performance. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee 